Now to best-selling author Andy Andrews. He has a brand new book out. It's called The Seven Decisions, Understanding the Keys to Personal Success. And he's sharing his keys with us. We also ask you at home for some of the mantras you live by. I am still giving your first book as a present to family and friends. And now we're talking about the decisions. Tell us what you mean by that and the importance of them. Well, these decisions, I call them decisions because decisions are just principles that you decide to implement in your life. The principles of personal success, the principles of parenting, of relationships, of leadership, of financial achievement, these principles are floating around out there too. So why shouldn't we learn them to, to harness them to create the future of our choosing? And you say, number one, the buck stops here taking personal responsibility. You're a firm right. believer in that. I, I am. And responsibility is about hope and control. And who among us doesn't want to have hope for a greater future that we control? If I can look in the mirror and I can say I've had some crazy things happen in my life and I couldn't do anything about them, but I've made choices in response to those crazy things that have led me to a place I don't like. Well, if you make choices that lead you to a place you don't like, doesn't it make sense you can make choices that lead you to a place you do like? Yeah, you can make good choices too. You've proven that you can make bad choices so you can do exactly. the flip side of it. And that's what the other six decisions are about, about how to make those good choices. And you talk about choose to be happy. Now, you know someone says, oh, great. Now, how can I be happy? I'm, I'm in debt, I don't have a job, I've gone through a divorce, and you're telling right. me choose to be happy? Is I it that simple? I do believe that we can be intentionally grateful. Mm -hmm. And I think that when we are grateful, we can change our perspective. We asked our viewers to send in their morning mantras, those little sayings that, that got them going. So right. I want to play a little bit of them right now. I believe every day is a gift and I have a responsibility and an opportunity to live out that gift on purpose. To smile and laugh every day and never, ever give up. Live life, don't let life live you. Finish the race, complete the work, and get the job done. I'm on a roller coaster that only goes up. There might be bumps on the road on the way, but don't let that stop you. Today's a hot, sunny summer day, and I'll not let anything get in my way. How important is it to have that mantra, that personal, whatever it is, those words, just to get them going in the morning, I think especially? It, I think it's hugely important. And I think that it's important to incorporate gratefulness into that mantra. If there's one decision that a person watching this morning can take away and apply right now and be most effective. It would be number six. It would be, I would greet each day with a forgiving spirit. I see more disasters in relationships and in businesses and in teams uh, because of a lack of forgiveness than any other thing and a lack of understanding about this principle. It is a decision, it's to forgive. And it's important that we do that so that we can press life's reset button and begin again. And we've said this oftentimes that when you forgive, the person that benefits the most, you. It's you. It really is. Reset. Push that reset button. Thank you for your mantras.